Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how we can create our server in Node.js with the help of HTTP module. So let's start coding and understand that how we can do it, right? So for creating our server, we first need to import the HTTP module into our project, right? For that purpose, we will write const HTTP equals to equals to then we write require require method we will use the require method like this put the bracket here and now inside this bracket we will write http like this after doing this we have actually imported this http module with the help of require method and stored it inside this http variable right now after that simply we will write http dot create server and inside of this we will uh, create a arrow function right like this and inside this particular first parenthesis we will write request comma response now what is this request comma response basically whatever the request which the user make to the server side that's come with the help of this request right and whatever the response that the server give to that particular request will come with the help of this res right right so this is what uh, we use but this is not the part of the topic now here we will do what we will just write response dot end put the bracket here inside this hi how are you right now that's what we have written here you can see so since with the help of this http we have created a server with the help of this create server method Inside this, we put the request and response and have given our response dot end that is a response body which is having a content that is hi, how are you? That's it, right? Now we will store it inside a variable that is const server like this. After doing this, we need to start this particular server at some port. Now, what is this port? Uh, think about it like a ship, right? So there's a sh multiple ship which are roaming inside the C right but to get the data or to get whatever the thing which is available on the ship we need a port right where we can use it we can access it right so that's what your port is right so uh, for starting or for uh, using the port number we need to write server dot listen listen put the bracket here and write whatever number you want as a port right uh, normally we use 3000 here right that's why i've written 3000 so it is all on you that whatever number you want right so after writing this just save it go to the terminal right node script dot js right okay let me just show you something if i actually remove everything right if i actually remove everything and just save it and node script dot js and if i press enter you can see I again get this line, right? Which is the address, which is the path of this particular file, right? Now, if I uh, write it again here, like this, you can see. And now again, if I run this particular node script.js, this time when you click enter, you can see I didn't get this particular line again. Why? Because the node has started the server and that particular server is, is still running right right that's why did we didn't get this line again because this whole process it is in process right this whole process is in progress right so for getting this line again we need to end the server right so okay now coming forward that how we can uh, see that whether the port has started or not let me show you let's open a tab here now inside this tab since we have uh, made the server listen at this 3000 port, we will simply go and write localhost 3000. You can see here, localhost 3000. Press the enter and you can see whatever you have given the response. Actually, you have created a server and you are getting that response here. Right? If I make any change here, I am fine like this. And I save it. So now for seeing it, we need to just end the server again start it to see the changes right now again if you go to the website and reload it you can see 
you are getting those ch changes here. So this is how actually we have created a server and we made a port and with the help of localhost we can see that particular response of the server on that particular port, right? So this is all about today's video. I hope you understood the concept that how we can create server in Node.js. Thank you so much.